Why was Chris Rock so freaked out by making a Saw movie, even though he was a fan? Let's dig into what scared the comedian on the set of Spiral for real. The seventh film in the Saw series was called The Final Chapter, but as we learned from Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, and Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Final is never final when it comes to horror. Since the release of Saw 3D, The Final Chapter, in October of 2010, there have been two additional films in the series, Jigsaw in 2017 and Spiral in 2021, revealing that audiences just can't get enough of gory death puzzles and deliciously horrid mutilation. Spiral, directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman, the filmmaker behind Saw 2, II, Saw 3, and Saw 4, starred Chris Rock as a detective named Zeke Banks, who was on the trail of the now-deceased Jigsaw killer, or perhaps one of his many acolytes. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Bowsman explained that he was thrilled by the idea of getting a comedian like Rock involved in the horror series, particularly when he learned just how much of a fan Rock was of the series. The director said that his future star could remember intricate pieces of the Saw franchise's very convoluted continuity better than even Bowsman himself could, which made it clear that he would be a good fit for the franchise. You know where we're going. Pay our respects, put on a suit. But when it came to actually shooting Spiral, Rock found himself a little disturbed by the rawness of the scenes in the moment. Despite being a longtime fan of horror films, and of Saw in particular, Rock had never actually made a scary movie before. That meant he was suddenly confronted with something he'd never experienced in his career up to that point. Lots and lots of fake blood. In the same interview with Entertainment Weekly, Rock's co-star Max Minghella revealed that the death traps, just as elaborate in Spiral as they have been throughout the series, were impressive and, in some cases, fully functional. Which means actors were often strapped into the machines for real, even if the actual torture was make-believe. Throw in gallons and gallons of blood and good actors doing their best to pretend to be in pain, and it was a lot for the star of Spiral to take in. Get everybody out. Everybody out! Everybody out! Rock later said that there were days on set where he would be coated with fake blood, watching people getting tortured in functional death machines, and he would get so worked up that he'd have to actually remind himself that it was all pretend. As Rock explained to Entertainment Tonight, you have to remind yourself it's not really happening. Even when you're close, you see the blood and you're like, are they killing a stuntman just to get the shot? But they assure you that it's fake. While horror movies generally take careful precautions to assure that no one is being hurt during scenes of on-screen violence, and all the violence is cleverly faked, when dealing with a raw, rusty movie like Spiral, it's easy to understand how it might feel a little bit too real. The Saw movies in particular aren't known for their light sense of humor or haunted house sense of fun. They are deliberately brutal. The legacy of the Saw franchise involves facing the most horrendous physical pain imaginable. Films that aggressively confront audiences with scenes of human suffering cannot be easy to shoot, even when you're someone devoted to comedy most of the time. Rock didn't comment on the tone of the Spiral set in his Entertainment Tonight interview, but he did seem to know what he was getting himself into. He compared the Saw franchise to a roller coaster, noting that while some moments are fun, other moments are deliberately designed to make the person taking the ride feel uncomfortable. He also compared being drenched in all that fake blood to another famously bloody film, Carrie. But hey, CGI blood just doesn't look as good as the wet stuff, so if a movie star is going to make it in horror, they usually have to be willing to step up and get splattered. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite horror movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.